This is another redox reaction that was on your test. Uh, balance zinc plus hydrogen plus nitrate. to get zinc with a plus two charge, plus water, plus ammonia, or ammonium. Okay, again in this one, you were given some hints and it was kind of made a little bit easier for you because it was already separated down into the ionic equation. Okay, so that was already taken care of for you. What we have to work on here next is assigning the oxidation numbers. Zinc in its elemental form is a zero charge. Hydrogen, and they did this for you, plus one. Now, this is nitrate ion. It is overall a negative one charge. My nitrogen has to be a positive five because the charge on a monatomic oxide ion is negative two. So three times negative two would give me an overall charge of negative six. Negative six plus five gives me the negative one charge of nitrate. So this is nitrogen with a plus five charge. We're getting zinc with a plus two charge, water. Now, let's take a look at our nitrogen here. The ammonium ion has an overall charge of a plus one. Now, you've got four hydrogens with a plus one charge. So that means you've got a positive four. Nitrogen is going to have to be a negative three to give you an overall charge of a plus one. So here on this nitrogen, it's a negative three. Now, we got to take a look at and see um, what is changing oxidation states and what do we have to look at and have to deal with here. We've got a zinc going from a zero to a positive two. That is an oxidation. Oxidation involves loss of electrons, meaning it gets more positive. And we've got a nitrogen that's in our nitrate ion. It's going from a plus five down to a negative three in our ammonium ion. Okay, we call this reduction because this is going from a positive number plus five to a negative number, negative three. So again, this is probably one of those things that you can just eyeball and write the coefficients on, but we need to show that we understand what's going on in these half reactions, the changes in the oxidation numbers. So I'm going to, whoops, work with my oxidation half reaction first. Notice first steps, write the half reaction for oxidation, which we did. We're going to balance our atoms. If we need to deal with hydrogens or oxygens or anything like that, we'll pull out some water because this is in an aqueous solution, but we don't have to worry about that. We've got one zinc over here and one zinc over here. So now we're going to balance our charges using the electrons.
this has a zero overall charge on this side because we have one with a zero charge. Here we've got one with a positive two charge. So zero oxidation total on this side, positive two on this side. Our currency is the negative electron. So we're going to add two electrons to this and that will equal out to my zero over here. So this is my balanced oxidation half reaction. I'm just going to put it over here because I'm going to need it in a little bit. Now let's go back and pick up that reduction half reaction. going to, again, write the half reaction. We're going to balance our atoms, use water if we need to, to balance out any oxygens or anything. So we've got one nitrogen here, we've got one nitrogen here. Now we've got three oxygens here, so let's go ahead and add three waters to get our three oxygens. Now let's total up what uh, hydrogens we've got. We've got six hydrogens here and we've got four here. So that means that I'm going to have to add ten hydrogens on this side. So let's just go through this again. One nitrogen, one nitrogen, three oxygens, three oxygens. I've got six hydrogens here and four here. Six and four is ten, so I've put ten right here. Alright, so I've taken care of this part. Now I'm going to balance my charges using my electrons. Alright, this has a negative one charge and I've got one of them, so that's negative one. I've got 10 with a positive 1 charge, so I've got plus 10. That means my charge on this side is a uh, positive 9. Now on this side, I've got one of these with a plus 1 charge, so I've got plus 1 here. These have a 0 overall charge, so 0. Now, in order to make this side equal to this side, I'm going to have to have, um, let's see, eight electrons here. Okay, if I add eight electrons, I'm going to have a, neg a positive one charge here, and that would equal my positive one charge here. All right, so I'm going to. take my balanced half reaction for my reduction and I'm going to put it over here next to my balanced half reaction for oxidation where I can see them in their nice clean page. I'm going to go back, refer to my rules again, look at chapter look at um, rule number five. Conserve the charge by adjusting the coefficients in front of the electrons so that the number lost equals the number gained. Again, in very, very, very simple terms, all that that means to you is now we're going to deal with electrons. Now we're going to have to make these electrons equal. According to the law of conservation of matter, you got X number on one side, you got to have X number on the other side. So the least common multiple between the, the two electrons here and the eight electrons here would be um, eight. So if we multiply 
everything here by 4, just like in our math class. We do one thing by 4, we've got to do it all by 4. We get 4 zincs, 4 zincs with plus 2 charge, and we get 8 electrons. All right, now, I'm just trying to separate this to keep my thoughts together. I'm going to go back to our rules and notice that we're going to combine these half reactions and we're going to cancel out anything that's common to both sides of the equation. So, just like in your math class, when you add your equations together, go ahead and just use a different color here. We have, this is like our equal sign, right? This is, um, we have got eight electrons on this side, and we've got eight electrons on this side. So those are going to get canceled. I'm going to bring down my nitrates um, in O3, negative 1 charge. I'm going to look and see, do I have any hydrogens on the other side of this equation that I could cancel out? And the answer to that is no. So I'm going to go ahead and bring those 10 hydrogens down. I've got four zincs here. I've got one ammonium ion. I've got three waters. So likewise, I'm going to look over here on this other side and say, are there any waters that I could uh, cross out? And there's not, so I have to bring all three of my waters down. And I've got my four zincs with the plus two charge.